Hey, Mike Pagani here again, going to show you a trick called um, Paste in Place. I use this a lot uh, when working on SketchUp models for joinery, for roof pieces, for complicated components, um, for all sorts of things. So um, one of the um, things you'll find when working in SketchUp is that oftentimes you'll have um, layer upon layer of detail in your drawing, and sometimes it's not easy or it would be easier as if you could quickly draw geometry or um, components um, off to the side and then have it get uh, dropped back in exactly where it goes. So one of the great um, tools that SketchUp gives us to do this is something called paste in place. You'll find it up in the edit menu, edit Um, <clears throat> paste in place. So to give an example of this, um, oftentimes I'll be working on joinery and instead of drawing the joinery right in the component, which can get tricky, is I'll actually just draw the, the, um, the joinery right over the end of the component. And then I can create <clears throat> get it back into my component by cutting it. So I can go to edit cut, open this component up, and then edit paste in place. And the beautiful thing about this is, is that I drew over the top of existing geometry and because I was working on a component it updated all of my components down the line. So I use this quite a bit for all sorts of work. Um, if I was working on a post top tenon, make component for my post, I very would likely um, take this surface, copy it, edit, paste in place, now I can push pull this up, my housing depth, and I can create my tenon. Create that component. And if I wanted to drop it right back into here, instead of having to realign it, I can cut it edit, paste in place, and then I can assign it to be my TF joint. So this is a fast way to use existing geometry and to, or to move um, geometry into another location. Um, I found this especially useful on braces or compound work. I can actually copy this, edit, paste in place, create my housing, Create my tenon, and the great thing about this is, is this geometry is all loose from my main component so that I don't screw up a timber or make a mistake somewhere else. Now I can take this, make a component. Cut, open this particular component up, edit, paste in place, and it comes in exactly where I drew it.
So that's a handy time saver for working on joinery, but also for working on compound roofs or creating um, shapes while using existing geometry. Thanks for watching.